While it is entirely possible to get strong breaks on a resisting opponent and force a tap, um, when we use the heel hook for, uh, without breaking our opponent down to a hip, such as in a position where she's still on one knee, breaking our opponent down to a hip is always going to be our best course of action. Um, the way that we're going to do this when escaping from the mount is ultimately by transitioning to a different form of ashigurami, our outside ashigurami. So, from a situation where my opponent has a full mount, and I get my opponent's weight to one side so I can escape my hips the other direction, Wind side knee, knee inside knee position to ultimately move to a uh, strong ashigurabi. This position here doesn't really give me a, a great pin on my opponent's hip, which is why we'll have to switch to other forms of grip. But we can also switch to other forms of control, such as outside ashigurabi. So in this particular case, the most common response you're gonna get from a skilled opponent is they're gonna work to, pit, uh, to put their knee facing toward the floor so that they can post on my hamstring and ultimately free their knee from my, my knee line. I don't, of course, want that to happen. So the way that we're gonna stop this is once we have our preferred grip, we're gonna switch to a figure four and we're gonna bring our foot to our opponent's far hip. What is often referred to as far hip ashigrami. With the use of far hip ashigrami, I can continue my rotation and get to a situation where my knees are still pointed in the same direction as my opponent's knee. It's very important for finishing heel hooks. So as I rotate, my knees are now facing down and so is my opponent's knee. From here, as I sprawl my hips and continue my rotation, I can absolutely finish the heel hook right from here. So what all of your opponents are gonna to look to do is continue their rotation. As she does, my left foot is now gonna move behind my opponent so that I find myself here in an outside ashigurami position propped up on my elbow. From here we continue to drive the toes in while pulling the heel in the opposite direction. We straighten our body and finally while continuing to rotate we drive our hips into the side of our opponent's knee. Let's take another look at that. We first work through our escape. Now we expose our opponent's heel and we lock up our grip. From here, we're gonna switch to a far hip ashigurami and point our knees toward the floor. As our opponent continues her rotation, our leg comes behind and a strong back heel brings our hips close to our opponent's hips. Now from this position, we straighten our body to take the slack out of the joint and now as we bridge our hips in the side of our opponent's knee, we get strong breaks. 